Today, I'm going to be writing all of the Beyblade Burst dual layer bays by their attributes and their gimmicks. What gimmicks? Their parts. Hey guys, it's me, Chance. I'm back in the video, and today, guys, welcome back to the video. Today's video, guys, welcome back to another Beyblade rating video. This is the show where we rate all of the Beyblade Burst bays by series and by parts and by uh, the gimmicks and stuff like that. So, yeah, I've rated. Um, Sparking, I've rated GT, I've rated God, I've rated Chosey. I am going to rate the dual layer or the single layers, um, and I still have to rate DB. But this, guys, I'm going to be rating the dual layers. So, as you can see here, we go down the list. We have Victory Valkyrie, Wild Wyvern, Lost Along, and Jello Jorman Gand, or Jumbo Jorman Tour, if you don't know. Kaiser Caribbeus, Acid Anubis, Storm Spriggan, Xeno Excalibur, Dark Death Scyther. Beast Behemoth, Unlock Unicorn, Nova Neptune, Rising Ragnarok, Holy Horus Suit, Obelisk, Odin, Yeager, Yggdrasil, Zillion, Zeus, Gigant Gaia, and Quad, Quetzalcoatl. Um, these are not in order by release, or by they were introduced in the anime. This is just, I just, I just put down them in random. I'm not doing them in order. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to be... <sighs> yeah, I'm going to be, um... Rating the god bays or by rating the dual layer bays by which by random pick. So, um, yeah, we're gonna see which one we get. So, who's the first? What's gonna be our first dual layer? We're gonna see right now. First dual layer we're gonna be rating will be Unlock Unicorn or Uber Unicrest. Um, it comes with Down and Needle, I'm pretty sure. From what I've seen. Battling battle wise for Forge time, it was not really that good. Um, Needle wasn't down was good for defense, I guess. Needle wasn't really that good of a um of a like a you know of a driver. It kind of had a gimmick. So, okay, I will admit some of the God Bays or some of the dual layers kind of had a little bit of a gimmick. Um, not like a full out gimmick like God Bays or Chosy Bays. But um, it had like a horn, like a like a unicorn horn type thing on on its layer, which made it look good for attacks and for defense. Um, I guess you can kind of count that. I don't know. It wasn't really that good in battle, so I'll give it maybe like a five. I'll give you I'll I'll give you unlock unicorn a five. Um, yeah, we're going by TT names, so yeah. Um, but yeah. All right, moving on. Alright, we're starting off bad here, but um, here we go, who are we going to be rating now? Xeno Excalibur, okay, so, unlike Unlock Unicorn, Xeno Excalibur was one of the most, probably one of the most, um, one of the good releases in the Bailey Burst Dual Layer series. It comes with Magnum and Impact, um... It's gimmick. It kind of it, it had. It was one of those bays that kind of had a gimmick too, like where the little metal thing, just like I said in the last video, last writing uh, video, the metal things on it align, and like it, it aligns with the sword on the on the layer, and it makes it with one big attack. The only thing that throws it off is its stamina and its um, balance. Um, but so far, it's actually really good. I'll give it a seven and a half. Seven and a half, you know, Excalibur. All right, we're gonna do it nice and simple because you already know it's. Dual layers, nothing really that special about dual layers. Quad Quetzal Codal is what we're going to be rating now. Okay, so Quad Quetzal Codal is a defense type. It comes with Jerk and Press. Um, what Jerk was, it kind of had a bound gimmick to it. Like it was, there was like this, like there was like this plastic material around the, the disc that makes it like bouncy a little bit. So every time a bay would hit that disc, it would like come right off. It would bounce off off of it so um it's kind of like deep chaos's gimmick a little bit but kind of but like dual layer version of course there is a single layer deep chaos i i what should i put that in the um should i put that in the uh dual layer ratings list or in the uh, single layer rating list let me know what your thoughts if i should but um yeah quad quetzalcoatl defense okay uh brushes the teeth i have never I actually don't know if it's good or bad um i don't know if the teeth have <coughs> I've rarely seen Quad and Quetzalcoatl battles, so I don't. I don't. And I, for the time I've seen it, I don't really see. I haven't really seen it burst. So since it's such a good bay, or it might just be my thoughts, 
I'll rank it up to like a seven or an eight. So yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, Quad Quetzalcoatl gets an eight. All right, ranking it higher than uh, Unlock Unicorn. Okay, here we go, and we're going to be getting. Who are we going to be rating now? Yuri Yggdrasil. I'm. I probably. I probably spelled that wrong. Or, um, or uh, Yugen Yggdrasil. It comes with what is the disc? Oh my god, I keep forgetting the disc. I don't. I don't remember what the disc was, but I do know that the driver was. What, what was it? Was it again? Hold on. Okay, the driver was yielding. It was a stamina tip driver that made it like move really good around the stadium. The teeth. I don't know about the teeth. The teeth. I think the teeth weren't that good. Um, the stamina was actually pretty good. Need pretty, you know, pretty average on it. Pretty decent. Um, I'll give it a seven. I'll put it up there with Unlock Unicorn. All right, seven. Um, yeah, seven. Your your still gets a straight seven. All right, moving on. Um. Oh my gosh. Okay, Dark Death Scyther. I don't know why that happens from time to time. For my phone does that all the time. Dark Death Scyther. Unlike Killer Death Scyther, Dark Death Scyther wasn't a bad release. Dark Death Scyther was actually one of the Probably one of the best dual layers, um, up there with like uh, you know Lost Longinus, Xeno Excalibur, and Storm Spriggan, I guess. So um, Dark Death Scyther was 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 wasn't one of the bad releases. It was a really um, good release. Uh, it came it came with Force and Jaggy, um, and yeah, it was a really good release. Um, it didn't really have a gimmick. Honestly, I think Dark Death Scyther is a way better than Killer Death Scyther. I think so. I think Killer Death Scyther was a bit of a downgrade. So Dark Death Scyther, in my opinion, is way better than Killer Death Scyther ever would be. Um, which you know is shockingly because you know Killer Death Scyther is supposed to be is supposed to be stronger than Dark Death Scyther. But Dark Death Scyther, I I believe is the like I I I believe is like the best Death Scyther. Unlike I don't know I I guess except for Hollow Death Scyther because Hollow Death Scyther was pretty good. Um, the only thing that was really bad on it was its balance, but its attack power was off the charts. And it jumped ar around a lot, so yeah. Um, I don't know, Dark Death Scyther gets, I guess, a 9, dude. Or maybe a, maybe a 7 or a 9, dude. Or an 8, one of them. Um, but yeah, Dark Death Scyther was pretty good. The teeth on it, I don't know if... Th I, I doubt they were bad. I think they were pretty decent. So yeah, Dark Death Scyther gets a straight 9. Um... <laughs> yeah. All right. Moving on. All right. Here we go. Who are we going to be raiding now? We're moving on to our next bay. Victory Valkyrie. Okay. I was hoping to do this one. Uh, Victory Valkyrie. The teeth on it weren't that good. They were okay, I guess. Um, it burst. It it burst to the Hasbro Victory Valtriac, which kind of is kind of embarrassing. Um, it comes with boost and variable. Um, speaking of boost and variable, I believe Legacy is. Legacy, the disc that's coming on the new Ultimate Valkyrie that I made a video about, is is a re is referencing Boost a little bit, just like um, just like Karma on off of Guilty Longinus is referencing Nine off a of Lost Longinus. So yeah, and then Variable Dash is going to be on um on Ultimate Valkyrie. But uh, Victory Valkyrie, I'm going to rank up to maybe. Hmm. Okay, its gimmick was that it had to wear down. The driver had to wear down. It's just like Evolution. Just like Evolution. Um, its speed was off the charts. Its attack was off the charts. I'll give it up. I'll give it maybe a 9, too. Um, the only thing that really throws it off is that its teeth aren't really that good. But, um, yeah, I'll give, it a, I'll, I'll give it a 9. 9 goes to Victory Valkyrie. All right, moving on. We are going to be raiding... Obelisk Odin or Omni Odax it comes with Force and Extreme. I think, yeah, is that right? I don't really know. I believe that's the correct combo. Let me know if I'm wrong. Uh, oh no, it's Triple and Extreme. Excuse me, Triple Extreme is the right combo. Yeah. Um, attack type, pretty good attack type. It comes with Extreme. If you if you know Extreme, Extreme is probably one of the most aggressive attack drivers out there. Um, yeah, Extreme. If I'm not mistaken, was 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 Knockout Odin in my GT rating list or uh video? 
I don't know if if was I don't know if Knockout Odin was in that. I don't really I don't remember. I think it was. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, Obelisk Odin, teeth wise, not too great. Um, I don't know. It didn't really have a gimmick or anything. Um, so I'll for for attack I'll give it a five because it has attack power. That's pretty much all Odin has is attack power. It probably has a a little bit of metal. So. I'll, no, does it have metal? I don't think it does, cause Lost Longinus was said to be the first duel to have to have metal on it. Um, not even as you know, Excalibur has any metal on its sword. So, I'm gonna give it a five. If it had like metal on it, I would rank it higher. But I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it a five. All right. So yeah, Albus Godin gets a five. All right. Moving on, we are going to be rating. Speaking of Lost Longinus, Lost Longinus, ladies and gentlemen. Arguably the best Beyblade dual layer out there. It has metal. It's dragon themed. It comes with nine and spiral. Um, spiral was a good attack driver. It has it has acceptable teeth. Um, the burst resistance was acceptable. Um, it's the first way to spin dual uh, or counterclockwise um, at a burst. Of course, you know the first was the first to spin counterclockwise at like metal fight and stuff was you know El Drago, but we're not talking about metal fight. We're talking about burst. Um, I'm giving it a straight ten because you dude, it had metal on it. It was like the it was like the ultimate. Um, it was the ultimate dual air bay. I mean, I think we can all agree on that. So yeah, I'm gonna give Lost Longinus a straight ten, of course, because you know it's Lost Longinus. So why wouldn't you give it? You know, so yeah, Lost Longinus gets a ten. Nothing really much to say about Lost Longinus. All right, moving on, we're gonna be rating Kaiser Kirby is probably probably one of the most probably. A rather disappointing release. It comes with limited and press, um, a defense type, uh, dark green. You know, it's doesn't really have a gimmick. It has like these little defense little blades on it that keeps it from defense. It doesn't really do much though. Um, it gets bodied by other dual layers. Mm, yeah, I wouldn't say that's the best defense type. I, if I was to say the best defense type out of all the defense type for dual for dual layers, I probably I'd probably be, I don't know. Quad Quetzal Cold might be my favorite defense type out of the dual layers. Let me know what you guys think out of that. Um, quad Quetzal Cold. Yeah, I think Quad Quetzal Cold is like the best defense type in that in the in the game when it comes to dual layers or Acid Anubis, one of them. Um, but Kaiser Kirby is. I'm gonna give it a three because it doesn't really have anything special to it. Stamina, mm, okay. Defense, not really. No teeth. The teeth aren't that good. I don't know. I'm gonna give. If I'm I'm gonna give um Kaiser Kirby is a I'm gonna give it a three. Sorry, Kaiser Kirbyus or Kaiser Kirbyus. It's just not that good. Yeah, the Kaiser, the Kirbyus line wasn't really a good line. It, you know, Hazard Kirbyus was trash. Guardian Kirbyus was trash. Kaiser Kirbyus is trash. It's not really that good. Now, probably the Hasbro one's probably a little bit better. I don't really know, but the Kirbyus line was completely garbage. Um, so yeah, three for Kaiser Kirbyus. All right, here we go. Moving on, we get Beast Behemoth. Okay, this was a good attack type. Beast Behemoth was like, except for Victory Valkyrie and Lost Longinus and Xeno Excalibur, I think, I want to say Beast Behemoth, was, Beast Behemoth was, like, was like one of the rather ag most aggressive attack types. I mean, there is Obelisk Odin. Um, it comes with, what, Quarter and Hold or... I don't know. Quarter was it, is it quarter, or is it heavy hold? I think it's heavy and hold. I don't really remember. I don't really remember. Um, I don't really remember. I don't know. Uh, but it's somewhere around there. Beast Behemoth, heavy hold or quarter hold? I think it's heavy hold. Um, outstanding attack or def or attack type. It didn't have any gimmick to it, but it did have good life after death because of that hold driver. Um, it had awesome attack. The teeth were pretty decent. And it, the thing was overall crazy, so I'm, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the Beast Behemoth a straight probably. Mm, I'm gonna give it a nine. I'll give it a nine. Beast Behemoth gets a nine. Okay. All right. Yeah, but anyways, Beast Behemoth gets a nine. So yeah. All right, moving on. We have. Acid Anubis. Okay, I really thought we were going to get Storm Sprig in there, but Acid Anubis. Um, 
Aster Anubis comes with Yell in orbit. It was an okay defense type. Of course, I still think Obelisk Odin's better, or I still think Quad Quetzalcoatl's better. Um, Aster Anubis probably wasn't the best. It was like one of the best, like the top, th like probably like the third best defense type, or maybe even the second. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Should I rank it higher than Unlock Unicorn? I don't really know. Um, I'm gonna probably gonna rank it maybe a six. The burst resistance was in. Mm, uh, I don't really know much about the bay, but I'm gonna give it like a six. So yeah, Aston and Anubis gets a six. Um, it, it was it was an average release, I guess. But um, yeah, Aston and Anubis gets a six. Moving on, we are going to be raiding. Wild Wyvern, it comes with, um, it, com it also comes with Orbit, it comes with Armed and Orbit, um, yeah, okay, mm, didn't have a gimmick, um, it was a decent release, I'll give it, I'll put it up there with Acid Anubis, I'll give it a 6. I'll get I'll give acid I'll give it a six. I'll put it up there with acid Anubis. Alright, here we go. Moving on. Raiding Nova Neptune, Arm Zephyr. Um I don't know. I don't really know much about this bay. I all I know is that it came in a triple set with like a, some victory Valtrek or uh, some other bay. I think it was like what, Dragoon or Drace Draceal or I don't know. But um I don't really know much about the bay. I guess it was one of the most, probably one of the rather weird releases or disappointing releases. I don't really know much about Nova Neptune, um, but it's a, it's an okay release, I guess. I've seen it battle a couple of times. It can do some damage. Um, I know the dual layer version is kind of bad, but kind of trash. But hey, I don't know dual layer. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I'll give it a. I guess I'll give it a five. I'll, I'll put it on average. I'll give it a 5. No, no, two gets a 5. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Quad Quetzalcoatl. Already ready, Quad Quetzalcoatl. Alright. Quad Quetzalcoatl, or who are we? Over? Rising Ragnarok. Okay, this was probably the best stamina type. I don't know about Zillion Zeus, but Rising Ragnarok arguably was the best stamina type. It came with Revolve... Rising Ragnarok. I don't know what was the disc. Hold on. Okay, the driver or the no the the full combo for Rising Ragnarok was Rising Ragnarok Gravity Revolve. Okay, so Gravity was the disc. Gotcha. Okay. Um. It was the the stamina the, the stamina on it was tremendous, dude. Uh, the, the teeth weren't that good, but overall it was a good bay. So because the stamina it was an awesome bay. Um, I'll give it maybe a seven or eight. Or six, seven, six or seven, one of those, somewhere around there. But yeah, six or seven. Rising Ragnarok. All right, moving on. Who are we going to be raiding now? Already raided Wild Wyvern. Let's hit that storm sprigging up. Come on, man. Holy Horror Suit. Okay, Upper Claw. Um. Uh, the teeth on it were bad. The stamina was okay. It kind of got off balance sometimes. Most sometimes wasn't the best. Well, totally wasn't the best stamina type. Mm. I'll give it a four. Four for horror suit. All right. Oh, we were right there for storm spriggan. Kaiser Kerbeus. We already guessed him. Or we already rated him. Rising Ragnarok already rated hit. Kaiser Kerbeus, we already rated it. Come on, bro. Storm Spriggan. Zillion Zeus. Okay, Zillion Zeus comes with. Oh, I can't remember the combo. Wait, no. Infinity and wait, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, infinity and weight. Um, it was a good, it was a good stamina type, good for combos, for dual layer combos. Um, probably one of, the, probably the second best stamina type. <clears throat> um, really good.
really good. I'll give it a, I'll give it an eight. Yeah, I'll give Zillionzeus an eight. Zillionzeus gets an eight. That's my official decision. All right, here we go. Victory Valkyrie already ranked him up. Gigant Gaia. Okay, it comes with. Just, okay, it comes. All right, wait. Hold on. If I'm not mistaken, it comes with Quarter Infusion. It was probably one of the proud releases, one of the good releases. Um, it was a good combo, good uh, stock. It was pretty good. Um, I don't really know how. I don't know how it would do against bays like Lost Longinus, but it was a good bay. So I'll give it a seven. Dragon Gaia was a good seven, or is is it gets a good bay? Is a good bay, so I'll give it a seven. Finally, Storm Spriggan. Okay, Knuckle Unite. Um, oh man, I hate to think, I hate to say this, but the burst resistance wasn't that good. It was like average. Uh, of course, it had like a little bit of a gimmick to it because you know there's like rubber around the, like the little centerpiece of the of Unite. So once that rubber hits the stadium, it just goes full out berserk. Um, so kind of kind of had had of a had kind of a gimmick, but, um, I'll give it a solid seven. Storm Spriggan gets a seven. Okay, we'll do one more, then I'm going to end off the video. Jail Jorman Gun, okay, or, um, or, uh, Jorman Jorman Tour. It comes with Cycle. Infinite, infinite, is it infinity cycle? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think the burst res resistance is pretty good. The stamina is okay. Um, it's a good release. Maybe I'll give it a set. I'll give it an eight or eight and a half. Screw it. I'll just give it an eight and a half, dude. Um, but, uh, yeah. Eight and a half for Jumbo Roman Tour. But there you have it, guys. There is my rating for the dual air bays. Um, I'm pretty sure we got all of them. We got Victory Wild One. Yeah, we got all of them. Wow, that's actually awesome. That's pretty good. All right. So, yeah, we got all of the bays. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I just wanted to do this real quick. But if Corey Kenshin, Corey Kenshin, I don't know, I don't know if he, he doesn't do Beyblade content. But if Corey Kenshin was to do Beyblade content and have a favorite um, dual air bay, what would it be? What would it be, guys? Lost Longinus. Okay, it makes sense because you know Lost Longinus is like the strongest bay. Makes sense. But okay, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. I will be back to rate the the. I'll be back to rake rake rate the uh the single layer bays, um and the DB bays of course. So hopefully, once all all of them like are released. But um, uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Subscribe to join the Hope Nation. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, bye, guys.